Hello, uh, dear friends, brothers, sisters, and uh, spiritual aspirants on the path of uh, absolute uh, happiness, uh, on the spiritual path of uh, knowing your uh, uh, true uh, nature, on the spiritual path of attaining a state uh, which is complete, changeless peace. Welcome to another episode. Uh, the title uh, that we have given to this episode is Cause and Effect. You see, it's very interesting. Uh, uh, this is what we call the principle of uh, cause and effect. You see, for every cause, there is an effect, right? Uh, you see, uh, related to every thought, <laughs> there is a feeling, right? Uh, if you take a ball and you bounce it uh, on the floor, what happens? The ball bounces back, right? So, uh, you see, whatever thoughts and feelings and actions come out of you, in the end, they are actually returned back to you. Multiplied many times. If there are good deeds, then good things and blessings will come to you. If there are bad deeds, then, you know, uh, bad uh, uh, things uh, will happen to you, whether they happen now or they happen, uh, you know, in a thousand years or in another uh, lifetime, right? Uh, let me give you uh, an, a beautiful example here. Say you are uh, in a valley, and this valley actually is surrounded uh, by uh, rocky mountains, right, uh, by huge uh, rocks. And you are at the center of the valley. And now if you call out that uh, I love you, right, this is a single sound coming from you that I love you. What happens is this sound travels. When it reaches uh, the, those uh, rocky mountains, the echo comes back and the echo comes from all directions. I love you, I love you, I love you. So similarly, when thoughts of, uh, you know, love, you see, honesty, simplicity, which are beneficial to others come out from you, they go everywhere in the universe, they go around the earth and they're associated with all the elements, you see, which are full of love and it all comes back to you. Now, similarly, as you stand at the center of this uh, rocky mountain and you call out, I hate you, right? So what happens is that as this sound travels, it echoes back to you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. The, and the echo comes from every direction, right? So always, always make an effort to have subtle, peaceful, uh, beautiful thoughts, beautiful feelings and beautiful actions. Uh, however, moving uh, further on, this was just an actual uh, example uh, to, you know, explain to you about uh, cause and effect, which we which may discuss under karma in another episode. You see, we are looking at this chain of cause and effect. For every cause, there is an effect. So let us say, trace this chain, you know, uh, this is uh, uh, done logically, right? If you look at yourself, you see, uh, you are the effect. Effect of what? Effect of your parents. Your parents are the cause and as a result of your parents, today you are born and you are in this life. Isn't it? Now let us look at the parents, look at the mother and look at your father. From where have they come? You see, they are the effect of their parents, right? Your mother is the effect of her parents, your dad is the effect of his parents, right? So now if you start tracing this chain of cause and effect, you can keep on going, keep on going, keep on going until finally you come to the end of this. So what is the ultimate cause? What is the origin of all this? It has got to stop somewhere. You know, say, you know, say this, they say that the buck has got to stop somewhere. So this chain on, of cause and effect eventually stops only at the source. What is this source? This source, again, is what you may call as God 
or what you may call as reality or what you may call as the light of consciousness. Because originally this light of consciousness was there and from there only this entire chain of cause and effect, birth and rebirth, right? Uh, I, we can use that uh, terminology has actually started because that is a causeless cause. You see this consciousness or the reality is a causeless cause. There is no cause actually beyond that, right? And again, I mean, look at this. It is so beautiful. That's basically what uh, the intention was to bring your thoughts, to bring your feelings, to trace this cause of chain and effect and see where it is ending. And it is ending right at what we call as consciousness or what we call as awareness, right? There is no cause beyond that. That is the causeless cause of all causes, <laughs> right? You see, all causes come from there, they are sustained in that and they dissolve in that. And guess what? Who is that? That's only you. You see, only you being the causeless cause, being that very consciousness, being that very reality can understand this because the reality only understands reality. So you see, just by this uh, principle of cause and effect, by tracing the chain of cause and effect, starting from us, we have reached our own true nature, right? Because you remain unaffected. You know, you may be born a thousand times, you may be born at many places, but your original state, the causeless cause has to be there. You see, consciousness has to be there so that you are conscious of whatever you are actually doing. So, uh, just knowing this, just this clarity that you are beyond this cause and effect chain and you are that causeless cause, you are that reality, you are this consciousness, you are this absolute happiness, you see that in itself brings peace immediately to us because we realize that we also have a changeless nature, not only this changing nature of the chain of cause and effect. So I hope that gives you clarity and I hope that just this singular thought helps you to experience your uh, true nature of absolute happiness. Uh, with that, uh, we will bring this uh, video to a close. Once again, uh, from my very heart, uh, my spiritual heart, uh, you know, I am very thankful to you for having given your time and uh, listened to this uh, short uh, uh, video. Uh, take care. Namaskar.